to a different level and, and add his own touch. And that's what we want. And what we found actually was that you didn't even have to write jokes for Tracy. Like yeah. you, well, any words would be funny <laughs> in his voice. Yeah, yeah there you go. The shoes? Did you write the shoes? I, I did not write the <laughs> shoes. My wife wrote that joke. Okay. She had a credit in the. Yeah, I know. Uh, the, 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 it's always, um, your words are completely different when you hear it through the voice of an actor. And I, there's another movie or you know, I just wrote like, hello, how are you, or something, and, I, and then we heard it, and I remember the producer of that, Rio too, and gosh, that sounds so much better when it's not on the page. <laughs> and it's kind of a backhanded compliment, but uh, I'll, ta I'll take it. Uh, we have like, only time for a couple more questions, so we have one right there, because your hand popped up so fast. Thank you. Um, we heard about the role of the director, but I'm just curious about the role of the producer, um, as far as what it is, So um, I've, I've, I've had such good luck of learning from some amazing students in the past, so I used a lot of what they taught me. And when you come on a film, the first thing you do, obviously you pull your budget and schedule together, and you try and anticipate all your problems and look forward. But the most important thing you can do is build a team of people that you know are the right chemistry, but also they better be way smarter in their division than you are out there. So the idea is that you know, we brought on, the, brought on the best writer, we brought on the best tennis story, Louis really Del Carmen, we brought on the best and the idea is that you want to be on the schedule, you want to guide, and you want to make sure they can hear Tim and everybody's hearing each other together and letting them go. Because if, I, if Tim and I think we're smarter than them, then they should be on the go. So you know, if you hire people way better than you. This is what the biggest thing I say. And then it's navigating in. 50% of my job is navigating the schedule, working with the team. We had we had a very small team. We had a production manager and we had three three managers, department managers, and three coordinators on the film. And then we had a staff of our story artists and our previous team and visual development. So it's getting all that, really trying to nail that pre-production down and then trying to, the other 50% is working with the studio because you're not making this on your own. This is independent. And when you work with a big studio, you've got to make sure to make them your partner and hear what they want to do and to make sure that you hear what Tim wants to do story wise, what they want to do, what's going to work best for the commercial and the marketing of this because you also don't want to make a film that nobody wants to see. So it's pulling all those pieces together and really lean on um, um, Devon Franklin was excellent. He worked so hard to get us the cast we have. So letting these people run is where they can really help you. We only have time for one more question. So do, do we have somebody with a final question? Way up in the back. That's question number two for you, so uh, we get $5 from that. <laughs> How did you get Mariah into that story to sing song? Oh, that's Devon Franklin right there. I mean, Mariah, the second, he, he's, he knows all of Hollywood, and so when he talked to Mariah Carey, she loves Christmas. She lives for it, she has kids of her own. She was so excited to actually create a new Christmas song and be part of it. And actually, she's a voice in the movie, too, when the hens, when he runs through, you know, when he drops in and he's in the hen house, and what's to say no? Oh, a flying chicken. Oh, a flying donkey. That's yeah. Mariah Carey saying that line. Yeah. <laughs> any, any of you guys voices in there? Any of you sneak in? Do come on. Uh, go. Yeah, we, uh, there was a lot of crap. So yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. Yeah. But now we didn't keep ourselves. Can so, uh, we just mention really quickly Louis Del Carmen and how instrumental he yeah. was? Yeah, I mean, the, the writing process um, was basically three guys locked in a room together, me, Carlos, and also Louis Del Carmen, who's a storyboard artist extraordinaire. Yeah, Ronnie Del Carmen's brother. Um, and uh, man, there were days where I was beating my head against the brick wall and uh, really relied on Carlos and Louis to, you know, to find a solution. So that, that was very nice. Fond memories of that. I just got this, which means to wind up. So Carlos, thank Debbie, you everybody. Thank you.